Now we're ready to label our heights of our natural surface spot heights that we picked up in the field. The easiest way to do this in 12D is to go to strings, go to strings and then go to label and go down to vertices. Again, going to turn off my contours that we just created. And again, I'm going to choose a model my natural surface spot heights are in. So model, and if I scroll down, they're in the model called NAT for natural surface. Once you select the model your points are in, and I can double check that too by doing a string inquire or F2. And you can see now the model is NAT and the name of the string is NS for natural surface. So I've selected the right model. The label mode. If you select the down arrow, you can label a whole different thing, a whole different range of options to label in 12D. In our case, we're gonna label the Z for, which is the height, but you can do a whole bunch of, you can do the vertex ID, the X and Y coordinates, the string names. There's a couple of different options you can use in here. Model for labels. I'm gonna call it a model called NAT labels and number of decimal places. I'm going to go to three decimal places for the heights. And again, just choose aerial center one for the textile. Create mode and create text. And once you're happy with this, you can select label. If we now turn on the model NAT labels, we can see there's our labels for the spot heights. Again, if we want to change the color or make them smaller, we simply go into the textile data. Again, just go straight down to edit at the bottom left of the panel. And then we can change the color. So I might make um, yellow and I might make the height 0.5. Set this, finish and label. You just got to remember before you do any labeling, you need to delete the old ones and there's no clean function on this panel. So what I should have done is went to view, sorry, models, clean and clean out the model NAT labels. Permanently clean. And if I clean that, yes, the model's still there, but it's empty. There's no data or there's no labels in the model. So I'm just going to quickly rerun this again. And there we go. So now we have our labels. It's probably one of the easiest ways to label anything in 12Ds by using this method.